really matter what clan you're playing. This will give me a little more happiness, but also a little more wealth. And I have the cash and everything is at maximum production, so why not? Chimas are destroyed and the old are still alive, somehow. They always die, but they got lucky this time. Yeah, I'm playing no mods, by the way, only the um, unit card mod, because I think it looks good. But I, I don't think it has any impact on the gameplay. So now they give me the proposal of our military alliance without any demands. And I, greedy as I am, I you know try to at least squeeze some money. You know, one thing about squeezing money is for the f you know for the first no in the first uh, you know it's first of all you get money and second of all you you know you 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 deny them the money. Like they have so much advantages over you, so you deny them some cash, so they can build up, you know, at the same speed as they would otherwise. So it's like you're shifting over the advantage from them to you. That's also what's um, good with having a vassal, you know, on legendary, because he will be, he will play with the advantages that the AI plays, but he will play for you. So you're also shifting the, the advantages that the AI has in your favor. So I, I, w I recommend vassals. And we will maybe see me grabbing some vassals here in this game. But you should be careful also always with vessels because they can turn on you. So as a first agent, uh, Ninja is not bad. He can scout for you. Now we see that the uh, Angikoi aren't that big of a threat. I yeah, my sabotage attempt failed, so I'm just checking relations. I'm actually waiting for them to declare, but if they don't, then I will attack them because I don't have any agreements with them right now. Yeah, but uh, that's why I built the uh, sake then first. I couldn't, I hadn't uh, researched the market yet, so I couldn't build that. But still, uh, sake then is a good start. Agents are very, very, very powerful in this game. If you know, learn to control your agents and like that, then at least you will be playing on the hard difficulty without any problems because they will do all the job for you. Uh, I tend to get all three types of agents within like 15 or 20 turns and start working them mainly as scouts but also like leveling them I don't want to build any inf uh, I uh, any cavalry yet because um, I want to research the upgrade first for them uh, or build the building for them I mean so they get a bonus so I'm waiting out with that but uh, I can still build more army because my um, income per turn um, it, it, that's the number that tells you exactly how much, how big of an army you can support. Like zero is maximum uh, size of army, and uh, in the beginning, at least, and uh, for building, for building the buildings and other other stuff, I depend more on the diplomacy screen for raising cash through that. And also, the selling your military access will decline in value over time, so take advantage of that in the beginning. So here I just go declare war on the Agakoi. Also, I don't want to risk them not going to war with me and get a deep, a dipl diplomatic deep off, so I can handle them on my own. If you're a you know, siege, attacking a city and you don't have to worry about anything else than just siege it, you know, it's very, very, it's a, a lot easier to defend than to attack and just siege it and wait them out. And here I don't have anything to worry about, so I can just siege. So 
sure the starting guys that you that you have I don't know I like to let them re recoup and then um, get back to full strength before I use them again you know if they get too uh, if I would have lost maybe more men in the beginning then I would just disband them no point paying uh, upkeep for them if they have like 12 turns to recoup And now, like, I'm thinking, uh, can I uh, go diplomatic and raise some cash for the other roads upgrade? Even if, like, you have some, uh, you know, some turns left on the military access, you still can raise it and get some cash that way. Also, at the same time, I'm checking my relations with everybody, especially the backstabbers, Hojo and... Uh, well, only Hojo at this point. Maybe Kiso. Kiso can backstab you also, but Hojo are notorious for that. And I see, that, you know, there's no problem there. And you said you have much to worry about, so I'm not in a hurry there to defend there. Also, everything is looking okay. I continue sieging. If I were, if I had been a little bit more stressed, then maybe I would have assaulted the the city and stop the siege. Uh, in the beginning it's very slow, it's not a lot to, to worry about, like just turn after turn. Yeah, so they decide to attack me and I get a close victory, but still a victory nonetheless. My generals are, you know, getting nice experience. The Satak and the Sak Sakoi are also, you know, dangerous. You, have, you gotta keep an eye on them. But uh, they tend to not attack you if you can match their power. And here ju I prioritize movement over Bushido because I'm not even uh, I'm not even uh, researching Bushido at this point it's just Chi yeah so it's I think maybe turn 7 or something and three regions solid base uh, I have more than anybody else around me one more than Hojo I think or maybe same as, as Ojo. It's always good. Now I check with my uh, spy to see what the Yusegi are up to. I want to move back my army to North Shinao. But of course, you know, you have to check happiness and stuff. Yeah, and uh, a new region, so new neighbors, new trade agreements, and new military access for sale. And here, the old ones have all, you know, uh, went out. So I'm going to raise a lot of cash here. I'm thinking about military alliance with the Jimbo, you know, but why? I wouldn't gain anything. I'm going to destroy the Yusegi anyways on my own. So I will just take their cash. Good enough for me. This can be tedious, but like after a while you get a feel of how much money you can get from them. And also you can only get, uh, you can only sell military access to uh, like um, factions that have a border to your border otherwise they won't want it so you can check you know you don't have to go through them all and 